standing in an area of the Norfolk Broads known as Howe Hill. It's one of the most beautiful parts of the Broads. And behind me is the house where um, in 2007 we premiered the piece which I wrote for Claire Jones called Howe Hill. It was um, a summer evening, um, a party put on by North Norfolk District Council um, and it was a wonderful occasion and Claire played it with her usual aplomb. is down from the main house um, and behind me you can see maybe um, the river Ant and the cruisers going up and down the river and then in the distance there in the distance the windmill which is very important in the piece of music I wrote for Claire and this piece of music really is all about a day like this this is what I had in mind a beautiful summer's day clear blue sky contrasting so beautifully with the green um, of the marshland here. Um, and all around me as I speak, all I can really hear are the birds. There's a great sense of peace and you can connect with the past. This is why I put it on my album, Fair Albion, because this area of the country um, seems to have such a direct connection with our heritage. running through the music, um, a melody which is almost folk-like in origin. Um, and this is something which grows directly out of the pure Englishness of this place. And then behind me, the windmill. This is such an important feature of this area. Indeed, it's a, um, one of the great landmarks of the Norfolk Broads as a whole. And in the music, you can hear this in the constant movement of the semiquavers. First in the left hand, da, da, de, da, de, da, de, da, but later moving in to the right hand. Um, and then towards the end, the glissandi too suggests the constant movement of the windmill as it sits here in the middle, pride of place in Howe Hill, this fantastic area of the Norfolk Broads. Thank you. 